Hello, my name is Jackson Rushka and welcome to the Oliver Hazard Perry. Today we're going to be going on a tour of the engine room. I've talked to people who work on submarines, naval vessels, and merchant marine vessels, and they all say that wowie kazowie do we have a ton of space, so that is something to be proud of. And it is an inherently difficult place to work in because everything is a critical system. As you can see behind me, we have lots of pipes on the ship. They're overhead, on the walls, and even beneath us. All of the pipes are transferring things, and sometimes it's very difficult to tell what is in what, and so instead of having to memorize them, we've color-coded our pipes. Each color represents what is flowing through them, so even if you don't know what machine it goes from and to, you at least know what's inside of it, so it helps to narrow it down. First things first, we have purple for hydraulics, and we have yellow pipes for our diesel. This is also used for any combustible materials, diesel, fuel oil, etc. If the pipes are painted red, they're part of our fire protection system, and green for seawater. We have two of these big yellow machines. These are our motors for our propellers. We have one motor for each prop shaft. These are Caterpillar C12s. They are marine diesel engines. These provide the energy that goes into the propeller shaft and then into the propeller. These give us our propulsion. The next thing that we have is we have our generators. These are made by Kennedy Engine based off of a John Deere motor. So we've got a John Deere motor, and then over here, this box and this, this is the electrical generator. So this motor turns a shaft, which goes into this generator, which goes through the windings and creates electrical power from the motor. So diesel goes into here, it turns a shaft, and the wheel it spins is a magnet inside of copper windings, and that turns over and over and over and that creates the electricity. Now we've got two of these, we have our port side, and then as you can see over here, we have one on the starboard side. The reason for this is that these generators also have a power takeoff unit. That's this big black pump right here. So a power takeoff unit does exactly what it sounds. It takes power off of the shaft, so the drive shaft comes through here as well as on the other side, so it can either go to the generator or to this unit here. There's a clutch actually right there that can engage or disengage. And this pump, as you can see from the purple, is part of our hydraulic system. So this is a hydraulic pump. So when we're underway, we have one of these generators providing the power to the ship for the lights and the navigation systems, refrigerators. And then one of these is operating our hydraulic system. So that's our steering, our bow thruster, and our windlass. Behind this, you can see we have this sealed unit. This is a Caterpillar emergency backup marine power generator. So this is a contained unit, it's all in one, and this is there, so if we lose one or more of these, this system will turn on and give us power. So it's enough that we can use our systems. And then above these, you can see that we have these big drums here, and here, and here. These are part of our exhaust system because we can't have just the exhaust to come into this room because it'll starve us of oxygen. So we have this very elaborate system that goes into these drums that are sound dampeners and they've got a water system and it expands, allows it to cool down, and then it goes through these tubes outboard right at the water line. That way the smoke dissipates at the water line. You can see there's another one right there. And then that also cools and dissipates the smoke all at the same time. So it does mean that it's a lot quieter. Then over here, as I had mentioned, we have the purple. This purple uh, tank 
is our hydraulic uh, reservoir. So all of our systems are run off of the hydraulics in this tank. Notice we do have a sight glass to tell us how much is in here as well as a thermometer. Thank you for joining us on part one of the Oliver Hazard Perry's tour of the engine room, the machinery space. Please don't forget to join us for part two when we go into the auxiliary space. Thank you. Bye.